the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, an archipelago of 700 islands, rocks, and keys nestled in the Atlantic Ocean. Beaches of white sandy shores, crystal blue waters, warm weather, friendly people, music that lift the spirit. The Bahamas, paradise. And there is another Bahamas, with a population of 370,000 and with a tourism-based economy. That Bahamas faces a growing health problem. The problem of the NCDs in the Bahamas is um, like in many parts of the world, and, and particularly in the Caribbean, a growing one, an important one, and it has basically replaced the infectious diseases or has, as, as the most important disease burden. Hypertension, for instance, is a major problem in our country. It's very common and many people, uh, the diagnosis is made too late. Heart diseases, followed by cancer, stroke and diabetes, are the leading causes of death in the Bahamas. 49% of adult Bahamians are obese, and 72 are not engaged in vigorous physical activity. Our culture has shifted from a, a true sort of agricultural and cooperative society into more of an individualized and uh, contemporary or industrialized society. So people aren't really walking as much as they used to, whether that's to their activities of daily living. Once considered diseases of the rich, non-communicable diseases are now a problem for lower income population groups. These are the areas where uh, there are no food parts, uh, where people can safely go for a walk. Um, these are the areas that are also uh, suffering from poor water and sanitation. We know, for example, that people um, who don't have drinking water at home take more easily a bottle of any other sugary drink uh, instead of water. My reason is because I'm a hypertensive patient and I am taking medication. Individual initiatives, corporate partnerships, and other public projects involving adults and children are growing to prevent NCDs in the Bahamas. When an adult comes to the public clinic for a medical appointment, they will get their weight, blood pressure, and blood sugar checked. This is a medical routine that looks to catch signs of diabetes, hypertension, and other conditions before treatment. The National Insurance Board, through its Drug Plan Unit, partnered with GEMI Health and Wellness Center to help a group of Bahamians address their weight and chronic conditions through a comprehensive health program. The experience was broadcast as a TV show to set an example for Bahamians. I saw this as an opportunity for me not to fall into that category and keeping this disease. So I in turn enrolled in the program in order to better my lifestyle. Most of the participants lost at least 10% of their body weight. Some even lost 50 pounds and were able to quit their medication. Before the program, um, it was limited exercise and eating unhealthy foods. That's the fried foods, the french fries, the macaroni, the peas and rice, the sweet sodas, and that's the normal thing for Bahamians. Eating healthy and engaging in physical activity from a very early age ensures a better quality of life. That's why the Department of Education has developed a different program of physical education. Today now we look at what I consider to be the new physical education program and that focuses more on getting our teachers um, away from just coaching but to be actually teaching physical education students. What is it? Sugar? Diabetes. What is it? The program now addresses that by showing the importance, because if you are able to understand more about your body, how it's made up, um, how it works, what makes it work the way it does, then you'll be more appreciative of what you ought to eat, how you should live your life, um, how what the practices that are better for you. With 40% of the adult population consuming an average of five cigarettes a day, the Ministry of Health is working on a tobacco initiative that will enlist certain restrictions. 
So we have drafted legislation and are working with our WHO and PAHO um, partners in crafting that legislation in a way where it is compliant with the FCTC, but it also addresses our own cultural diversity and our cultural needs in the Bahamas. The Ministry of Health is also working on a pilot program to offer healthy options at the point of purchase instead of candies, chocolates, and sugary beverages. So they don't even have to think about the choice. They make the healthier choice because it's the easier choice to make. In an open space, once a week, Bahamian families will be able to enjoy different physical activities in a safe environment, the Seclovia. We just want to be able to educate people as to what can be done and just make it easy for them to do as well. I would say that the Bahamas are really waking up. I think the cost of healthy food, you know, food is very expensive. Facilities, having um, actual physical education classrooms. Um, at school, I don't really serve anything healthy, so like I, t I usually take lunch to school. All those individual initiatives that are happening and all that waking up that's happening in the Bahamas needs to now go and, and, and be consolidated in, in, in a strategy. Our call for the future is everyone's involved. And that really has, when we say a healthy Bahamas, it isn't a Ministry of Health Bahamas. It really is the Bahamas has to make itself healthier. And that's why we have to be a part of that type of initiative as a populace. No one person can do this alone.